Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling. Today I'm going to showcase you a top zero deck with the Dark Wheel Dealings combination. I hope you guys will like it and enjoy. Previously, if you have missed my video, I have featured a Dark World Meta deck in my uh, channel. So I hope you guys will like it. Go take a look. I will leave a box at the top right corner end of this video. There is some comments that this is very expensive and you know, but as such, this channel, the purpose of this is to showcase to you all different kind of cards and combination. If you like it, I mean, you may do investment of it on it. If not, at least you have awareness of how to play counter against this kind of deck. So this is more about awareness than, you know, forcing you guys to spend and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will understand that. So i like to give a shout out to Ezil, the new uh, family, the new member in the family. So feel free to leave your comments down below and let's have some more interaction. I will give a shout out to you almost every video. So I hope you guys will enjoy. So without further ado, let's move on to the deck list. This is basically what I'm showing today. I hope you guys will drop a like in this video. Leave your comments down below. What do you think of this metal deck? And remember to subscribe, follow me on my Twitter and Facebook for more updates and upload. Firstly, I'd like to shout out on DK. Dueling Meta is also one of the very top players in Dueling. This deck origin by him. I think he has showcased to you like 10 hours ago and I saw it. So I decided to build it. So at least I have my own review, which I have the card. So here is my own review. Will this card be Meta? Yes and no. Let's go on to the uh, deck list first. We have three Dark World Dealing. So this is for more drawing mechanism and discarding one card, which usually you like to discard. Adamon, the Master Magician, I can special summon this card from a hand or graveyard. So you discard this card to a graveyard, you can special summon it by removing 6 spell counter from Magical Citadel. So basically this is how you special summon it. And if you special summon this way, I can target one spell card in my graveyard, add that target to my hand. So basically you can add back Golden Bamboo Sword and so on and so forth. Then once per turn, I can target one card, discard one spell card, destroy it, very OP card. This is the best combination to use, so shout out to DK and his and his peers to make this deck. Magical Aspirin, so this two card is basically to get more spell counter ongoing to Magical, so you can do a lot of shenanigans with it. Two into the void for more drawing mechanism. Magical Citadel of Adamon, so this is every time a spell card is activated, I will place one spell counter on this card, so which allows me to special summon Adamon, the Master Magician. One release restraint wave, so I target one face up equip spell card I control, destroy or face down spell trap card my opponent control. There you go, the back row is gone. So basically, you like to destroy Curse Bamboo Sword to get more drawing mechanism out because if this guy is sent to the graveyard, I can have more Golden Bamboo to my hand. So the rest is pretty much the Golden Bamboo combination. Without further ado, let's move on to the highlight. To be honest, I think that this deck is pretty good. It may break sometimes or you may draw to a dead hand. So I would say it's still very situational. And one thing to note that Bola is getting very, very useful nowadays because of so much deck allows you to destroy back row. So a shout out to you guys. Make sure you have some Bola. I will come up with some defensive deck later. So. Remember to stay tuned for more as we have we need to be more defensive to counter this kind of card. So I'm going second. Let's see if I can OTK him this turn. Set my magical citadel. This is very important to get start the spell counter into the void. And into the void. So two spell counter on him now. So next I Dark World Dealing. Throw out Adamon so I can special summon it later. Dark World Dealing again. Throw out Citadel. And now I got Magical Tempest, Broken Bamboo Sword, and the Golden Bamboo Shenanigans comes in. So now I got more Golden Bamboo Sword, which is good. More drawing. So now Golden Bamboo Sword, more drawing. And now release <coughs> Restrained Wave, so to destroy the back row. And I have like 8 counter here, and I, I think a lot 8 counter here as well. So that's how you're going to Special Summon later. I think in DK video it did not talk about about you know how to special summon guys. 
So special summon by removing magic curve. So basically just create the graveyard and you can have the option there. So now I can get one card back to my hand, which is golden bamboo sword for more drawing mechanism. Because bamboo sword, just pinpoint one guy. Now I have child counter here, golden bamboo sword. Magical Zamper. So I use Magical Zamper effect. I click it, activate, so I can special summon this guy. And there is an option do you want to use Cinadel? Press no. Because if Cinadel do not have enough spell counter, you will have to summon this guy. So it's very important. I think in the previous video by DK, it did not, because that's for more, you know, top tier players. So this video is for more clarification. So at the moment, Discard one card, destroy the target. Well, more dark with dealing. In fact, I shouldn't do that, but well, GG, OTK, easy peasy. So, if you have a bowler, you most likely gonna dodge it. So, this is more awareness, and for people who can build this deck, well, this is the time for you to do it. So, next game against Chess Prince Senton. <laughs> Honestly, I think this deck is pretty OP, but it may break as I mentioned earlier again. So I go in turn 2 now, Magical Citadel, into the Void, get more cards, start with Dealing, discard away Adamon, so I can Special Summon next turn, more Dark with Dealing. So now I have to throw away go to Bamboo because I need the combination going on. The Curse Bamboo cannot equip in the face down card, so I have to use my face up card. So this deck is also vulnerable if there's nothing set behind it, or a face down defense, or front gate, so on and so forth. So that's definitely a way to break this, this combination, in my own honest opinion. So more shenanigans, I got 6 counter, so I use uh, Edamon special effect to do retrieval of Golden Bamboo. Which I disposed earlier. I discard uh, Curse Bamboo, destroy one target to get more Golden Bamboo out. So, all Golden Bamboo shenanigans is out now. I have 8 counter here, 1 counter in my sp spell card. So, release, restrain, wave. Destroy, but he has powerful rebirth. No biggie, it's a man like that. So, now I use Into the Void, more drawing. It's okay. Dark World Dealing. This card against. So I special summon Adamon by using Magical Expert uh, effect. So I can get him to the field. So remember to click no to the Magical Citadel because you don't want to summon your level 4 monster out. I think more. Most people will not understand this combo because this this archetype is pretty rare in the meta, so you have to play around. I mean, I played around to a few games, like five games yesterday, and I managed to get a get a hang of it. And I wake up this morning and <laughs> I kind of forget again. So you have to get used to it. This is a. I would say a very powerful if the combo goes well. So against a Phoenix deck, there's a few times I break. So I would say you lose through breaking. That's all. So far, I I don't face any counter against this deck like Bola or you know some something to regret spell cards. So into the void, draw more cards. That will dealing. Dispose again, Curse Bamboo Sword to get up more Golden Bamboo Sword. So now, I have a decision to make. I have no monster, so I have to equip to his monster. He used Wild Tornado, destroy mine. I was lucky to have this Curse Bamboo Sword in my hand. If I don't, it's gone. I lose this turn. So, go to Bamboo Sword to draw more cards. The combination is there, upright, so temper. Just for you know showing him I he don't have a face down card, I don't worry. So that we're dealing, dispose Adamon to the graveyard, into the void, draw more cards. 
So I know to use Release Restraint. He has no face down. I add him on Special Summon. Get one spell cut back to my hand. More drawing. So now I use Dark Will Dealing. I dispose again. That's why this is the mistake I made. I want to Special Summon. But in the end, I use Magical Citadel effect instead of Magical Temper. So, you know, learn from my mistake. And that's the purpose of this. No one is perfect. I use Edamon effect to, you know, destroy the opponent monster. Against Phoenix Deck. He used Nijisu Art of Duplication. I thought he knows how to play against me. So that's why he summoned so much monster on the field to try to banish all my shenanigan play. That we dealing. Discard Elemon into the void. He used Transformation again. So I was like, okay, pretty impressed with his gameplay as of now. But let's see, can he survive? Because Bamboo Sword on this guy instead of anything that he can use his trap card on is important because he can't duplicate or transform it level 1 monster to a level 1 it doesn't make sense so that's how I do it so I release Restrain Wave force him to use this card so I bear in mind that he has 2 banishing to, to make it happen so I have to be careful so curse bamboo sword get out my broken bamboo sword I'm still pretty far away from my combo. I'm a bit worried now. So I use Broken Bamboo Sword on him. He banished me one. I use Golden Bamboo Sword because I know that he can banish me. So I did not use Broken Bamboo Sword on my monster. Instead on his monster. So these are things that you need to take note. Small details to make you win a game. It's not like you have the top tier deck. I have the top tier deck. Sometimes skill does plays a part, the tears. So he's gone. Easy. If you see the replay earlier, I destroyed his spell card instead of the monster. Because this is how ninja works. They are vulnerable if their trap cards are destroyed. This is one thing to take note for you guys. I played ninja numerous times since the meta starts so I kinda understand their gameplay. So this will be the last replay. I hope you guys will like this deck. And stay tuned for a defensive counter deck that will be coming up later. I'll be working on a defensive counter and spoiler alert, it revolves in the new trap card, the Kunia Chain. So, hope you guys will like that uh, video as well. So, again, it's a Dino deck, Magical Citadel again, the shenanigan starts, the combo starts. Because Bamboo Sword, get out good more golden Bamboo Sword. Broken Bam Sword, pin to his card, go to Bam Sword, more, more, draw. I'm trying to get my release restraint out to destroy the back row because I'm not sure if it's a front gate is there. So, you know, something to take note. If you can do that, that's good. If not, sometimes you just have to go for the game. So, release uh, restrain wave, destroy all the back row. So now the shenanigan starts again into the void. Add them on, destroy the monster. Turn two. I have no more cards in my hand, in my deck. Easy. GG. Easy money.
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a good day, good afternoon, good night. Signing off and peace.